Welcome back to the LEC after an incredibly dominant game one from Fnatic. Misfits are looking to rally and find their form here as we get ready for game two. A lot's going to change in the draft. We know that already. Have to see what the execution looks like in game as well. Both sides focused and determined. Again, we are in a best of five to decide the final world slot for the LEC. Loser will be eliminated from playoffs, eliminated from getting a chance at Malma on Sunday versus the Mad Lions as well. Uh, the other reminder is that third seed and fourth seed will start in the playing stage, whereas True. seed one and seed two will go directly to the group stage. So there is also some importance in there and actually being able to qualify for the finals in terms of world states. Um, but yeah, Europe doesn't have the best history of having a fourth seed in plans. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, here's hoping things change but this year. We'll just lose to that uh, the team that beats us in the best five and then sign their players. Yeah, exactly. Like we'll do just that. <laughs> the armored maneuver. But now it's time. Let us get ready for picks and bands coming into game two. Misfits have up their sleeve for this blue side draft. There's no way they can afford to give over Kalista again without some kind of drastic early game change in terms of just a winning skirmishing jungler or maybe going towards a first big trundle so they can deny any kind of late invades towards both side. But then they have to be scared of the same thing on the other side of the map, perhaps depending on Wunder's pick. So we've got very similar bands coming in here from both sides. Of course, VTO and Humanoid, two of our biggest stylized players, not like caps and such. Um, and now, last band's coming in. We saw Fnatic ban away things like the Lulu on their third band. Poppy was banned away by Misfits. They've changed it up. They're going to take away Kalista. Now, does Fnatic ban away Poppy, or do they play Trundle into Poppy and take the Lulu? It's, you know what's going to happen? You first pick Zivir Zeri, then they're going to respond with Renata Trundle, and then they're going to pick something, and then they're going to lock in Draven, and they're going to do the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps, yeah, depending on the bot matchup, but yeah, you could be right. Are they not even going to prioritize the Poppy? I mean, upset Zeri was incredible. I mean, it got them to where we are today, right? With the plays that he was making on that champ with the Infernal Souls, the bonkers damage per minute that he was pulling out, and they're not going to give it to upset. That they're allows Razork to you. take Poppy, though. But I don't think he... I don't know if he cares, like, because you want to give Zanzara the Trundle? I don't know. It, it is one of his most comfortable champions, and when you think about what Zanzara has played so far this split, it's Poppy, it's Jarvan, it's Sejuani. All of which, Skarner is the only exception to that, which would perhaps be the only annoying thing. Here's a counterpoint. Razork has most of his games on Trundle. Right. And Poppy as well. Right. This is the meta we live in. Uh, the Poppy is powerful in a different way where you can just knock away the jungler and secure an objective, right? Dragon fights are just so I Poppy favored. I prefer the Trundle personally, but there's definitely nothing wrong with the Poppy. I do agree with you. I, I agree in a sense that it depends on what, what their comp is, right? If you're picking Trundle blind here, um, and then they play something like a range support, and they have good range, then the Trundle could struggle. Uh, but it looks like they they might just swap it all up here and just go for something like the Zeri Leona. Now, are they going to go Draven on three is the question. How much bot push do they want? They could just go for Sivir. I mean, because the problem is, if you lock in Leona right now, and Upset is willing to play Draven in this game, that's going to feel so bad. Because Renata not great at canceling Leona's engages. Draven, so easy. Just pushy, stand aside, stop a lot of those plays from coming through. Instead, the Orn, which I do like, Misfits again, yeah, when they were struggling in the early game in the first half of the season, the way they were winning games was late game scaling options, late game team fights, playing together as a team in those 5v5s. And act firing back with some scaling of their own, though, in the form of the Sivir. I do think the Misfits are much happier with how this rotation went for them compared oh, to the yeah. last draft. You've got already a very solid front line with good engage. You've got Trundle, which is a good answer into the Poppy, typically. You've also got, like, the Pillar, which can be very effective against things like Renata and the Sivir. And then you've also got your scaling Zeri. So in terms of how Misfits want to play, in terms of team fighting, they've got a lot of comfort, and they should be feeling much more comfortable going into what Fnatic had chosen to draft. Agreed. And now the question for Fnatic is, do they ban away that Talia again? I mean, the last time they banned it was because Maybe they were looking for a mobility mid, and also they had things like the Sejuani Renek to an incredible follow-up on single targets, but right now Misfits don't have that, so the Talia ban could be dropped. The Talia ban could have just been purely because they wanted to pick LeBlanc as well, and they were worried that if Talia was in the game and it was blind pick, that LeBlanc would then become a much harder matchup. So I would imagine that uh, as a potential alternative, if they don't feel that LeBlanc is as high a prio, then they can go for something else. Yeah, I'm a bit scared. Oh, I say for... that, it actually gets banned away by Misfits. Yeah, LeBlanc taken away. 
Interesting to see what mid laners come out here because I think Lissandra for both sides could be quite powerful. If I look at Misfits comp with something like a Lissandra or an engaged support, I think the Zeri might just run away with the game in terms of how much raw frontline and lockdown that they have. There's the Gwen ban to make sure the Orn has a bit of an easier time. We'll see what Wunder goes towards. There's the Akali ban as well uh, because of the Blancs banned away. Perhaps they were scared that that was their answer to a blind pick Akali. And it looks like it's going to be an Ari for Humanoid. So they're saving top lane for a little bit longer. And I think that the idea here is that with LeBlanc banned, Silas banned, Akali banned, you're then saying, well, the only good blind pick mid that you have left is Ari. Now, of yep. course, VTO could go for Talia here himself. He could also go for Lissandra if it's something that does, in fact, play. Uh, Zoe was his typical go-to comfort in situations like mm. this. So it's not like he doesn't have champions, but Fnatic really want to try and limit what options he can go So they're going to go for Talia. This actually answers a lot of questions because VTO hasn't played Lissandra once this split. I wonder if it's just something he doesn't like leaning towards to or playing himself. He's got one Talia game. Now the question is, do they round it out with an engaged sport? Something like Leona would work very well in terms of helping Talia get the follow-up. Nautilus. Likewise, Alistar could be a good option into the Sivir. I think I do like seeing Tulia even. Soraka. Ooh. Okay. A lot of okay. healing coming through here. Silence as well. Great zone control up against yeah. a champion like the Ari, the Renata as well. They want a lane that can push. They don't want a lane for 3v3 or in terms of like getting all in potential. They just want to keep the push, heal up, sustain, and just be a team fight ball. Now it's on Wonder to try and mix it up. Does he just go for something more team fight orientated or does he pick something like the Aatrox and try to push over sides? That looking like a okay. Oh, all right, all right, right. so all right, all right. <laughs> A little bit more stock standard answer. Obviously, strong in the landing phase can still pack a punch in the team fights. Nar, not too surprising to see, still incredibly popular uh, across the world in terms of top laners. Even hasn't been seeing as much play here domestically in the LEC, but. Bot lane already feeling like it's a little bit better of a setup for the side of Misfits Gaming mid lane. Now the big question is VTO does pick up the Talia for himself. Well, let's think about now what has shifted from game one to game two. Because in game one, Fnatic had push in mid, they had push in bot, they also had a winning jungle matchup. Which meant that basically it was very easy for them to set up these dives. If we now look here, Fnatic should still have a push in bot lane. They should, in the early game, still be able to push in mid, but it's a little bit more contested against the Talia, so Misfits have a little bit more control around the mid lane. And Zantara now being on the trundle against Poppy, in the early game, you should be able to out-bully the Poppy. So basically, Misfits have a lot more early game control compared to what they had last game, which means that Fnatic can't do the same shenanigans that they're able to do able to do in game. And there's no hard winning lane to a point where you can late invade one side, right? You can't late invade with things like Trundle Soraka. Maybe they prove us wrong, but you also can't late invade with things like Renata Poppy against the Trundle, right? It's quite dangerous to look for split maps in these kind of champions, in these kind of states, if you're face checking, either side will win. There's no dominant side, so level one should be a lot cleaner for Misfits, you'd hope. And then getting to that mid game could become a bit easier for them as well. Stability across the board, team fight across the board, and lots of scaling. And that's it. I think Misfits will ultimately get to team fight a little bit more. Let's see if they can get to that point as we jump onto the rift for game two. Double range support bot meets bot lane brush. So important on that level one in contesting the push. Both teams running down here. Humanoids on the top side to cover uh, an early invade. Top side, Hilly might have to be careful. Whoa. He's going to drop a ward, so he'll see Neon. But crucially, he didn't see anyone else. So I think Fnatic, maybe they suspect that everyone else is there because it doesn't make sense that Neon just runs oh, there himself, here right? We go. So there's the sweeper. Mercer's showing. All of Misfits are showing. Huh. All right. Misfits clearly not interested in the full on. 3v3, 4v4 on the bottom side instead, just trying to take that control as everyone reveals themselves to the bush, even as Mercer walks out. Okay, so nothing too crazy happening, level one. People have gone back to base, they've grabbed themselves some sweepers. Minions have spawned. But before we get into this game, it's time for a little bit of story time, Diamond Dracos. Story time graphics almost prepared a line. Because last year, Fnatic found themselves actually in a very similar position to this year. They started at the very bottom of the barrel when it came to playoffs, and they had to uh, basically fight their way up through playoffs. So they had to take down Vitality in what was a 3-2. Uh, they also then had to take down Misfits in what was a 3-2. Uh, and basically, this is the point at which you are at. Uh, we like to recycle our scripts every year. Yeah. Um, and Writing new content is hard. It's so hard to write. Really hard. If you're keeping track, the little arrow that Cage will try to draw there, you are here, Fnatic fans. And now you need to keep your eyes on the bot lane because it doesn't oh, look like dead. Misfits bot lane is going to be here for much longer. Mercer flashing for the hills, trying to finish the kill. First blood, Fnatic. Well, not, not even giving us time to finish our narrative. Zara's they are coming. hungry for blood. Neon 
Forced to flash through away. Upset. He's got no sums. Does he get Hilly as well? He can Level actually two. get both of them here. W Enthusiast running in. He's very fast. He's gonna get one. He's looking for a second. This is the follow-up. The punish. This is gonna be one big trundle. Neon getting a little Neon bit extra gold as well. He wants to finish it. Neon gets one back. Oh, Fnatic overstaying Not on the bottom yet. side. But now the response to the mid lane. Humanoid moving forward. Does he have the charm leveled up? Razork now coming, flash over the wall Ooh. instantly. A quick flash out from VTO. Lightning reflexes there. Mercer on the way in to, to be a menacing level one Soraka. It's not clear what she does at level one, but it's enough to dissuade Razor. Really good pathing by Zanzara. Instantly just backtracks straight to bot after killing that red buff. Make sure he picks up two kills in response for Misfits, despite Fnatic getting the better hand of this level one, where Hilly just steps up to Mercer here and says, what are you doing? Pulls him back instantly, drops the Ignite, body blocks him as much as possible while weaving in auto attacks. And then it's on the minimap here where we'll see Zanzara, as soon as Red dies, runs straight bot and cleans up two kills. Yeah, it's a good heal. And you can see Hillisang actually positioning himself in front of uh, Upset there to prevent the Zeri from being able to land all that damage. But then Zanzara's arrival, basically easy cleanup here. There's no escape from Fnatic bot lane. And the consolation prize here for Misfits is that Neon is able to get himself a kill. And typically in this situation, Zantara would find himself very far behind while he is a camp down, because Razzle also looked for a gank in mid, he's not gonna suffer that much. So big advantage overall for Misfits in the early game. Definitely is. And of course, as we were talking about just before that play happened, Fnatic's up against Misfits. Exact same story as last year. We are here, and they need to take down Misfits to lock that world spot, to keep that lower bracket run alive, which we saw last year. And it was Razzle on this Misfits roster that was actually able, that came so close to qualifying for Worlds twice. Remember that they went the full five games against Rogue in the upper bracket, uh, and then they went the full five games in the lower bracket as well. Razzle came so close to Worlds qualification, and unfortunately wasn't able to make it. And he was right next to his brother Vitio as well, who's on the other side of the rift now, right? It's almost like a Cinderella story for both of these players, who missed it by one game last year. And now both of them could make worlds. Depends on which side though, because only one of them will do so. You saw there at the bottom of your screen, three times Misfits have been one game away from winning worlds since 2018. Winning worlds. Winning. Right, well, <laughs> yes, winning worlds. That's what I meant definitively. Yeah, almost you guys missed it. Almost took down the LCK. In the, the multiverse. LPL. Yeah, in the multiverse. Uh, no, I'm sorry, qualifying for worlds. One step at a time, boys. Getting ahead of myself. Shouldn't reveal the script too soon. And uh, Razork was getting a bit aggressive down towards the Krugs there. Zanzara is going to zone him away. And this is a really good adaptation so far from Misfits in terms of gameplay. Yes, Draft has helped a lot as well in terms of banning that Kalista and stopping a huge power lane in term, uh, that Razork can play for. But in terms of jungling, Zanzara has been on the bot side of the map this majority of the game. Only hasn't cleared out his blue and his grump. Based went back to bot side, covering his bot lane as much as possible while top lane sits in isolation. And honestly, just a fantastic start makes such a difference in this game. No second like upset holding onto the push as you talked about earlier, Vetti, but Neon no longer just instantly knocked down and put into such a massive deficit that the game is unplayable. Crafting a lot more even this time around. Meanwhile, on the top side of Relevant, weathering the storm decently well. Wonder though with the coal, clearly not intending to absolutely dominate this lane, but will get a lot of gold value out of that. Overall, game a little bit quieter than the first game one. Not nearly as big tower dives, not nearly as much aggression from either side. It is. And more just, relaxed pace. Yeah, one thing I just want to highlight as we move forward into team fights. I'll hold my breath for a second because Razor could cancel his base here with his auto attack on his passive. Irrelevant stayed. Uh -oh. That means a dive is on the cards. The jungler's on his way as well. Yeah, the BTO's on the way too. We're tingling. Wonder about to turn Mega. Irrelevant now trying to flash out to safety, trying to move away. They are on the way up. Good pillar! Clean team play! But they're not under the tower. So there's nothing to do. Wonder also level six here. This is a very terrifying prospect, but it looks like they've just said, Razork, you are the sacrificial no. Yordle. Oh. Just kidding. Run, Yordle, run. Is he, is he oh out? Oh my, my. Oh my. Word. Happy B. Razork. He just broke Santora's ankles. No. He used a minion wave to E out, and yep. then he had the speed boost. That was well played, Razor. Yeah, Trundle Pillar was on cooldown. Meteor was there as well. He was in their blue side jungle, just kind of saying, give me the kill, I'm on the way. But Razor gets out, so big blunder there by Misfits. Not trade one for one against a Poppy in between your towers without a flash with mid push. Let's it escape. That is a bit of a brutal exchange there at the end of the day. Rel coming back to box side, but now Nar has switched as well. Wow, Hilly! That was a Hilly he just keeps doing. He keeps just doing Hillisang things. <laughs> What? I'm pretty sure Hexai is still disabled, by the way. So he's just he's just flashing. He's like, I hate this summon this spell. <laughs> <laughs> he's timing both their bot lane summons and saying it's up in 10, 15 seconds. I have one window to flash in here and get a kill. And he tries to take it. He takes a shot and misses, unfortunately. No, but I mean, you of miss. Course. Yeah. Obviously, there is very tangible and real logic, and Hillisang is a fantastic player. But it's also very funny, <laughs> It is very funny. <laughs> You have a point there, but yes, it is indeed very funny. This is, uh, yeah, throwback to early days of League where you just ignite your lane opponent for five extra AD. 
Oh, yeah. Just big nostalgia there. What a boomer comment. Uh, it's uh, weird that I can talk about the same game. And I don't remember that. Well, well, you know, Cajal. You probably weren't around. You like, probably weren't good enough either. to use that technique, you know? Just saying. PTO in trouble, PTO. however. Good sign step on the charm. That's everything. Humanoid not forced to burn alternate, but which means Ooh, he can't keep the pressure on. This is a bot type. They have a massively stacked wave. Zanzara's on the way, though, but he's on his red buff for now. Flash mm. away from Neon already. Mercer's healing him up, which means Mercer's quite low on HP. They're going to crash in and back away. I think they know Zanzara's in the vicinity. One thing I was going to mention before that top dive happened is Soraka. Her silence, of course, can be so powerful at the right time, but against the champions of Fnatic, it can be even more powerful. You know, you imagine Razor charging up his hammer to try and knock Zanzara away. Silence will just instantly stop that. Meganar trying to jump in on top of your AD carry. Silence can be clutch in these fights. Silencing an Ari on when she dashes towards you, also Ari. very effective. No flash on Hilly, remember? Are they scared that Razor's in the bush? I wonder. They're hesitant on that one. Mercer also incredibly low, but upset just about out of mana, so... Overall, I feel like he maybe could have stuck around for a bit more. Razorik, though, being spotted out there. Oh, he's faking. He's gone into the Herald. He was spotted initially walking in, but now he's walked out. Yeah, he's, he basically ran into the pit on the bottom side of the vision cone, so it spots him, then ran out the top side, so it looks like he's still in there. So now BTO thinks he's on Herald, but he's actually taking away the blue, so now he's a bit surprised, even though they want to go for this top now lane. Now they know. Oh, my God. Level six. Razorik on the way out. Can he find another great escape? I think he can. <laughs> oh. Razork, the knockback onto the orb. Now might be in trouble. Wonder on the way out. He's flashing on his enemy. Okay, that's it. Call Tom Clancy. Splinter Cell is over. We need whatever the hell book Razork is featured in. This man, absolute wizard. Espionage book featuring Razork. That's all I'm asking for. He's just, he's just making fun of them, isn't he? He's, uh, he's just, he's doing whatever he wants. He gets himself the blue buff. He gets away with his life. Yeah, it costs him his flash, but now he's back in the river. Mercer, I think you've got to be careful here. Hillisang and Upset on their way, and the battle for the Rift Herald will begin. Right, waiting over the wall, the silence could be massive here. The charm does connect. Mercer charmed up, but now knock back coming in, taking their time here. Human right now dashing out safety. Razor trying to get a little bit of damage down, but right chunked out is big for the team. Wonder off to the side, though. Meganar now coming in. Zanzar needs to make his way out of that oh, fight. Pronto, irrelevant on the top side, but with no ultimate. They're now leaping in onto the orn, knowing that he's very vulnerable, knowing that he's squishy. Now on the retreat here, the wall coming out. Upset isolated from the rest of his team. It's VTO versus Upset, the chilling 1v1. Knock back! Gonna be spell shielded, buying a bit more time. A little bit more damage coming in. It's a threaded volley can it's right the needle. Out. Neon running though. Neon wants a bit more. Really? Hostile takeover, there it is! He's trying to run, he's trying to retreat, they're all just beating the hell out of each other, but no one will go down! How is Fnatic still alive? They have such low HP bars. Humanoid's on the way back up, but he has the ultimate. Misfits must be so bloody frustrated, they just keep getting away from them. <laughs> Gemma, Lost what, the words. What, what <laughs> A lot of cooldowns were burnt. Good hostile takeover. Nobody dies, which is a bit uncomfortable for me as a play-by-play. -play. That's usually where I shot for. But, but here we I are. Mean, Neither side getting the Herald at the end of the day, and it's Razork stealing a blue that is really the only thing that happened in that entire one-minute sequence of play. I will say that Fnatic got quite lucky then, because I think their inherent setup was not optimal. Razork initially didn't have his ultimate. Humanoid you face check to brush where he was spotted on vision, nearly lost his life, was forced to ulti out immediately. And they made all this play happen before Upset and Hilly were really involved in the fight. So it felt like the Misfits were in a better position, they just couldn't quite secure any kills. And now the dance is happening once more. Boys, round two. Knock back onto the trundle. Razor caught out here no a way. little bit. No, Can't not dash, again. not no. with the Talia E no, up on the ground. No, Razor. <laughs> He is, rush, baby. he is the slipperiest poppy on the planet. He got his ult off despite the silence, knocks Anzara's away. He's just being such a nuisance. Now they can't do Herald because it reset, and he's out again. So Razork's just going to take bot crap. Oh, no. He on my die. Caught out. Humanoid over the wall. Quick pickup for Fnatic. They are he's... running circles around them right now, Fnatic. Yep, and that little ward, you can see it at the corner of your screen. Observers, they're highlighting it for us now. This one yeah, was placed by Hillisang. He spotted the rotation out from Neon, and it was able or it really set up that play for Humanoid to secure that kill. Another in the back pocket of Fnatic. And look, now they find themselves at a 2k gold lead all of a sudden. Can someone just get the Splinter Cell music and just put it over Razork <laughs> over these last five Maybe minutes Mission of gameplay? Mission Impossible. Mission Impossible what is actually even better. Splinter yeah. Cell music? I can't Impossible. hear yeah, the Splinter Cell music What I was reminded of is, have you guys ever seen the Big Bang Theory? No, actually, oh, there's exactly. this great singing of Sheldon bobbing up and out of a ball pit, and it's just reminding me of Pats like, I'm over here! I'm over here! <laughs> can <laughs> Misfits finally get this Herald is the question. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell when a co-caster doesn't know what the other one's talking about, because he instantly changes subjects. Yeah. Luckily, we all know about what Herald does. Mm. Misfits do finally manage to secure this. This will help them get a little bit more back in the game. 2k deficit, 2.5k in favor of Fnatic this moment in time, but at least 320 gold.
to come through with this Herald Charge, assuming it gets placed down in the next few minutes. And it's going to go top for upset, you have to imagine. It's been a bit of a chaotic last few minutes with everyone chasing the Razork, Fnatic included, and now they've ended up with their bot lane topside to make sure that they could try and contest this Herald, but it's gone down. So I think now with Misfits having it, they probably want to use it in Upset's lane to try to deny the Seaver, put it behind, get Neon a bit more back into this game, get him towards his Mythic. Humanoid now roaming towards bots, trying to dive irrelevant. No magic resist on him, Wave will be cut out. Oh. Arm will miss. Goes a little bit wide, Humanoid down under the tower, though, so it's not going to count for too much. All right, so the first dragon of the game yet to be taken. We can see the poppy on the top side of the map is being pinged out by Zandara. They know, well, they are fully away, rather, of exactly what he's up to, which does leave Upset exposed here. Upset is a little cautious. VTO, knock back. Instant cleanse coming out from VTO, but Razor chasing. Looking for more. Member's now running down. Remember, this rock has a little speedy ambulance once you get low, and here comes Mercer. Very fast, boy. Just to provide the extra healing. And he's collapsing with Humanoid around. Looks like they're gonna back away. VTO had to use his cleanse. There's the Herald top for Neon to get him a bit back into this game. Yes, he's slightly even with upset, but they need to accelerate this Zeri. Or and Trundle Soraka there will support champs. Talia won't support. Okay, that's that's all all right. relenting. He's just. What? <laughs> what? He's just. Bazinga. It's a hit Bazinga. <laughs> Hillisang now here. There it is. Neon now running. Fnatic! Again, unrelenting across the map. They are individually outplaying as a team. They are oh outmaneuvering. They have just been better across the board. They are obliterating Misfits. Triple kill for Wonder. Razor collapses. Vitio can't answer because he's been forced away. Razor keeps running in and out of mid every time he wants to move to a side lane. The Herald didn't even crash for Misfits. Everything falls apart in a blink of an eye. Oh my word, Fnatic. I mean, you can see 1-0-1 is the scoreline for Razor, but he's really doing so much this game to be a nuisance. He's making it so difficult for Vito in that situation specifically to roam towards the sidelines. And the fact that he even invaded to make sure that Vito couldn't roam. Oh, Ion, do you really want to take this fight, Vito? I don't know if this is where you want to be. Hillisang now knocking into the wall. Razor on the way out, looking for that escape. Hillisang will get taken down. That was an awkward play. I can just imagine Hillisang's comms, Vito's running out of base, Sanzara's close, Neon and Mercer around, he's one versus four, he's like, yeah, we can win. <laughs> it's like the Hillisang comms where he just ignores his team, just calls Razork to help him out. But anyway, it's triple kill for Wonder. Herald doesn't crash, they deny it. Razork and Humanoid collapse quickly, and there's no response from Misfits in the 3v4. I mean, look at the damage from Wonder. Just way too much for Mercer to be able to heal through. Then Wonder's able to stack up his rage, gets the two-man ultimate off. The commitment underneath the tower. Triple kill, easily done for Wonder. And this is one of the things that makes Fnatic so scary when they are playing well as a team, is we've been looking at bot lane for so long, because that's how they were drafting across each and every one of their games in the first best of five that they played. But this time around, Wonder getting a good counter matchup on the top side. Gets one or two kills in his back pocket. 2.3k individual gold lead. This is the threat of the super team that was always promised when we look at Fnatic, but has very rarely been realized this season. But the good news for Fnatic fans is we are seeing it in the series today. Definitely shaping up across playoffs, and especially in the series like you highlighted. Puts it in a comfortable 2-0 here with the gold lead that they're sitting on. With Wunder being ahead, you have really good side lane in the 1-3-1. One, one. You can see him on top lane, who will start pushing down this top tier one. Sivir and Renato, of course, have really good scaling. And the Ari Poppy have the playmaking to deny Vito from catching his bot waves. That's why he's hovering around mid. So Fnatic own all three lanes for now. And Misfits are going to have to find a response soon. Fnatic basically have full control over the match. Of course. Reminder that Fnatic, if they do win today, they will have to play another match on Sunday against the Mad Lions. Uh, all of those teams will have already locked worlds, but that will be a fight for a spot in Melbourne next weekend. Uh, meanwhile, Misfits, they of course still do have a chance. Right now, the game is not looking great, but they're scaling. Their team fighting is definitely still something to be feared as they're looking for one. Under. Flash out, clean movement. Yeah. They do get the flash, but it's going to be hard for Misfits to find another opportunity like that before Wonder's flash is up again. Zanzara shows top, gives fanatic information as to where a jungle is. That means that Humanoid can push out bot. Upset can step up on this mid wave and push it out, and then they can collapse towards top themselves. Now Fnatic is the three man with that wave in, with Zanzara showing now on his camps. They can just walk up here, put down some vision, spot him out again, and try to chip this top tier one down, get both side lane towers. And then the idea for Fnatic now is to have both sides pushing and constantly collapsing towards mid uh, and try to secure these neutral objectives. Herald's up in one minute, 20 seconds. Yeah, the map control from Fnatic here is very good. You can see Humanoid, as you rightly called out, Cable pushed in all the way through bot, which means that Vito is forced to catch that. Humanoid's already back out on the map. He can move towards blue. Mid being pushed in means that using that power, they can rotate to top and they secure another objective. So what was initially a pick and an attempted kill from Misfits, that the side effects of that result in Fnatic actually getting a tower. Now they find themselves with a 5k gold lead on the Dragon spawning in about three minutes. 
And with the Herald spawning in about a minute's time, Fnatic will likely look to set up for that next objective. And Misfits is comp in a front to back. Sure, it, on paper it looks great, right? In a front to back, you have Striker, you have two frontliners, you have two backline DPS, very stock standard stuff. But over side lane, how do you catch Wunder and Humanoid? They're so mobile. Nar has the move speed from the Hyper, has the E Mega Nar for the increased stats, and it's just chasing down irrelevant. So they're very slippery side lanes to pick off when you have not so much lockdown. You can see it right there. Like, Wonder in a side lane is just bullying Irrelevant out. He's so much stronger. And you can send Talia to wave play, but that's kind of all they are. Humanoid pushes in bot, they have to push in top. They can now collapse towards mid. And with the Herald should be easy pickings. And because you can threaten the dive here with Neon holding alone, as the two members isolate in mid, this becomes an easy objective for Fnatic. And Zanzara's bot trying to make a pick, but again, no lockdown. So with those pushing sides, with the numbers advanced mid, they secure themselves another tower. So just good macro so far by Fnatic and not getting caught. Yeah. And, uh, and really, when Irrelevant is not around, the ganks just are not that threatening. You have it already. Mercer being on this rocket this time around helped Misfit secure a stronger bot side of the map. But taking off the Nautilus has eliminated so much of the reliable hard engage that helped Misfits mount that brief uh, comeback that we saw in game one. You know, he's fighting off the Zanzara here. It has his ult up, actually. He might try to push him back. Winter's actually pushed out top so far that he's base and ran towards bot side to defend Humanoid to stop them getting this bot tier one. Oh, Zanzara, that is not quite the Q. <laughs> but he showed himself. And what Fnatic are doing is they're juggling, juggling sides. You get Herald, you have three members top, that means Misfits have an opening bot. Wunder bases and runs bot to cover Humanoid, so they're cu cutting off any kind of play Misfits are looking for. Fnatic playing good is the TLDR. They're looking for upset. Set, using the Ghost to get out of that one. Good heads up play, good use of the summoner spell there. All right, get his flash. There's also a lot of pings on this top side jungle. Uh, from Fnatic, there's a lot of pings on these wards and they have got double TP, so I wonder if there's going to be some kind of play around mid if Misfits overstep with this deep vision. They can look for the play of their own. For now, Humanoid doesn't have ultimate, but the play will start to linger when that cooldown comes off. Razork's fishing for information, wants to deny the Wolves, wants to push them out of their own jungle here. Upset with the mid wave crashing in, can start to join his teammates. Oh wow, look, Fnatic is just in time for the next blue buff. They weren't able to steal away the walls, but they will take away the Gronk and they should deny this neutral objective and just clean play overall. They have the Herald. They could look to drop it top if they wanted to. They can also keep it mid. I don't expect it to come mid. In fact, it will be dropped top alongside Wonder. They can start threatening that tower. But people need to start resetting if they want to contest this Drake. You can see Humanoid already making his way back out onto the map. Herald charge getting ready to come through. Neon there using the tower to try to clear the wave with the Ultra Shock laser. Pull back to the team now. Knock back. The Razork on the retreat again. Escape and gets the cleanse out. Now the on the hunt burned and all of Fnatic will retreat. Yeah, all their tempo is just wasted towards top side. They don't get the tier two, but they force Misfits to respond. They want to get in time for this Drake. Does Razork have to base and run there? He just used Smite, so he's a little bit healthier. And they just want to use that Civil Rule to reposition, push out mid, and now rotate everything back towards the bot side, refresh their vision towards the bot side, push Misfits out of their own jungle before they can get there first. Wait, that's a Smite gone from Santara. And Humanoid has found him. They're gonna lock him up with the Ember Frost. Razork now pushing from the angle. That is just gonna be all the buffs belonging to Fnatic. Now Humanoid's even gonna try to take away the Krugs. Everything in your jungle belongs to Fnatic right now. Misfits certainly struggling. The goal lead only getting bigger and bigger as Fnatic take all of these things away. Yep. Blue buff gone, red buff gone, dragon gone, Herald fell shortly before. Top tier one is absolutely fine. And I just want to highlight here in the XL Fnatic series, it was a bloodbath. A lot of people said XL maybe through that series, they had the games in their hands, Fnatic had to make comebacks, but in this series, Fnatic looked good. They look really good. These last two games have been very clean and decisive. Where's Misfits? Where's the Spring MVP? Where's Neon with these incredible damage numbers? They can't even get to mid game in a stable sense, and Zanzara's only really found oh. one early game bot and got a double kill. Sorry, the map didn't update. It was Infernal Rift already. I don't know why that happened visually. He didn't no, walk fine. through a wall. The wall wasn't actually there. Um, it's fine now. Yep. But you're right, Kedral. Uh, we're not really seeing the same Misfits that we have seen in the past. Um, and I mean, even last split, I feel like that, well, actually, yeah, I mean, last split, this was able to put up a decent fight, but we need to see more from them. They really need to come alive. Of course, there are still more opportunities, but the way in which Fnatic are controlling the map, they are clearly a cut above yeah. what Misfits is bringing to the table right now. Very difficult situation to be in. Misfits obviously prioritizing Neon on this area over and over again, and while we know what it can do late in the game, Fnatic just have not been letting the game ever get to that point. Neon just barely hitting three items before the last game ended. Might get a little bit more time. Uh, this one, but so hard with the lead Fnatic had built for themselves. And he's just, he can't be stopped. He's just, he's in the ball pit, he's doing his thing. Hey, Poppy, it's just, it's one of those new things that you hate.
but like, our yeah. tank echo top just oh, always dashes God. on you, procs his <laughs> passive, runs away. God damn it, same thing with Poppy and Phase Rush. And Misfits put a little bit of vision down towards the top side, sneaky vision that hopefully Fnatic won't sweep away so they can buy time and slow the game down. Get Talia towards two items because Humanoid's sitting on a Rabidons now, and they're gonna look for Neon, maybe they can get his flash. Here comes Poppy! Neon trying to make it over the wall, but just gets knocked in, knocked up, and knocked down! Fnatic finding a quick pick here. Maybe this can give them enough confidence to start up the bear. Oh, they don't is. have yep. the Callista this time around, but they have a very fed Gnar. They have a strong Sivir. To kick things off here. Misfits, do they mount a defense here? They've got the Ward coming in with a long range ultimate. Zanzara has Flash and Smite up and available. This could just be a 50 50. Ward in the pit, so Misfits see the health bar. No sweeper, no pink from Fnatic. He sees yep. the entirety of Ooh, this barrage. Wonder's going to jump over to zone him away. 3k on this health bar. Zanzara's in the vicinity. Are ready to go in. 2K. Fnatic just trying to turn this one. Ornaut now coming out. They're going to try to lock up as many members as they can. Irrelevant leaping out of the fray. The hill sank very low. Raz were very low. This team took a lot of damage from the Baron. It's going to force Fnatic off for now. Bit of a sloppy turn there from Fnatic. Trying to turn onto Irrelevant, it looked like, with the gnarled Wunder was looking for him. Here he got extremely low. I mean, Vitio also played that incredibly well. The, the placement of his uh, rocks into the knockback. He actually stunned two members of Fnatic. They lost a lot of HP as well. Even they were taking damage from the Baron. And the Fnatic could really commit to the turn. So good stall. Slight reprieve for Misfits. As they did lose their AD carry, but they won't lose much else off the back. No, they won't. That was, of course, after a pick. So the map's in a very even state. All they have to do is push out top. And Misfits yet to get a tower. They have objective bounties. They had objective bounties last game. Not even sure if they got a tower last game. I think they did after that big ace in top. They finally got a top tier one. But that's been about it for this series. Wunder is so confident he's just going to jump onto Neon. Two, three on the autos and walks right back out. So fast, so hard to nail down. BTO now going to be in trouble looking for another stun, but he will not quite connect on the wall. Angle just a little bit off of the flash. Oh. Into the charm. Upset grabbing the kill. And Fnatic, maybe just turn right back to the bear. Just keep the ship going. That's all right. Still alive. Does, of course, still have the flash. But Fnatic, there's no reason for them not to pressure the Baron once again. They will need Wanda and Razzle there to tank this objective up. That one ward will spot out that. Fnatic have started this objective, but Misfits are not going to give it up without a fight. No like a wonder. We're in all six seconds, waiting on the cooldown. Orn Charm locked up. They need to burn him down before the ulti comes out. And Fnatic are going to make turn. it happen. Irrelevant getting cut down. Irrelevant running for his life. The knockback leaping away from the fight. Neon waiting over the wall, but upset. Hungry for blood. Upset with the bailout on him. The extra movement speed just running down. Misfits Let's running go. down. Irrelevant. It's feeling personal. Humanoid leaping forward. Neon. Shield bow procs will not have that in the next fight. Again, Fnatic can't stop Baron, I think, because Irrelevant has TP in 30. You can see mid-jungle coming out of base. I wonder if they're running out of gas here, Fnatic. They're committing to the Baron again. They just got one kill, but it's going to be a 4v5 again. Upset's going to get the Honey Fruit, so that should help them out a bit, but they're lacking a lot of ultimates. They need Wunder's Mega. They need Hilasang's hostile takeover on a turn, because if they go for the finish, Sanzar is around. No flash. 17 seconds on Irrelevant. He has Ornolt up. He has TP oh, Two members word. locked up. BTO and Zanzara beating each other up now. BTO going gold and the rest of the team trying to fish for the charm. But the body block is there from Zanzara. Keeping his mid laner safe. Neon so incredibly low. Fnatic, they're winning the fight, but they're not getting the Baron on the back of it. That REQ went through three people. The severe boomerangs as well. All of Misfits' health bars on Neon and Mercer just melted. Fnatic maybe thought they could force that, but Misfits still can respond with four. Whew. Wow. Fnatic, they're not converting it into any objectives, but they are playing these fights very well. Great patience coming out from them. And they're kind of forcing Misfits into these choke points where they're in lose-lose situations. Misfits, they need to kind of slow the game down a little bit. They do have good itemization coming through. You can see Neon very close to that Infinity Edge with the next Dragon up. I expect Misfits to just give this one away. I think they'd be better off cross-mapping, maybe securing some bounties on the top side of the map, getting a bit more gold into their back pocket. Forcing another fight right now is likely just going to end in disaster. The problem they have is no one's top. Irrelevant comes yeah, with push. I agree. Wonder could match with TP as well, so that play seems difficult. Misfits just want to group up. It looks like Hilly, no flash just yet. Humanoid Razorx is coming up soon. I don't like this for Misfits. Very dangerous. Or Charm getting kicked on the Orn, though. That's most of their major CC, most of their major engage options now taken off the board. Meganar waiting off to the side to persuade anything else. Sanzar, is he going to commit over the wall to try and get it? No. Really just a spectator sport there, showing up just to watch them take it. But now maybe Misfits can find the fight, looking for the ulti onto Wonder Off on the side. Zanzar is still standing strong, upset in no man's land, but no one has the follow-up to finish it. Wonder Off to the side, can they take down the Nar? Can they get the big shutdown? Wonder trying to finish That's it one. down, and that goes to VTO. Big from the side of Misfits. Excellent consolation prize. Did you not get no the trick? 
Wall now coming out. Hillsang, which side is he going to get put on? Vigio potentially on the wrong side here. Up to trading down hell with the boomerang. Hillsang still standing for the bailout. Can he find a kill? Hot to take over goes a little bit wide. Rathwork, will they finally burn down the poppy? They cannot finish him. He's running. Neon now chasing for a little bit more. Neon ready to turn this one back. Standing tall. Healed up. The Soraka keeping him up. That's a shutdown. That's huge for the side of Misfits. It is indeed. Shutdowns across the board. Misfits actually find a little bit of life in this series. They fight back against Fnatic and they're back on the board. Neon 3-3-1 three, three, and one on this area. Might have an Infinity Edge in base and it all started with Fnatic looking for an engage. I thought this play would just end in disaster for Misfits. You can see how difficult it is for them to actually get through this choke point with the damage coming out from Fnatic. And then there's a bit of an overcommitment here and Fnatic become a little split. You can see that after the Dragon is secured rather than just disengaging, Wonder's attacking the top left, whereas Razork is attacking the south of the fight, which kind of forces Fnatic to be separated from one another, allowing Wonder to get isolated and eventually losing his and life. And watch upsets here. He's so stuck on the other side of the map that he has to run all the way around the Dragon Pit, so it's a 5v4 on the top side in the meanwhile, and that allows Misfits to slow chase. Hilly No Flash here gets hit by the slow from Neon. Vito, I don't think, has stopwatch, but he wants to commit. He knows this is their only way back into this game. Hilly pops the stopwatch. Vito flashes away after canceling his wall. Hilly dies. Razork again lives on just a slither of HP, and Humanoid blocks all these area auto attacks. But Humanoid and Upset want to play with Razork, so the second he goes in, they linger when they don't really have anything. A really good pillar comes out from Zantara, resulting in the shutdown coming out for Neon. And that's a lot of gold that's going to go into his back pocket. We were wondering where the Spring MVP was. We were wondering where Neon, with such high damage numbers, was. And now we're finally starting to see it. Misfits with this Team Cloud 5 comp. Soraka doing so much work to keep them alive. Infinity Edge on Neon out. now. Wonder, no flash. The cut out. Vito has his wall as well. Wonder running for the hills. Gets hit mid-air. That's big, irrelevant. Clean plays here. Slowing him down as well. Who's we got Swift more gauntlet. Us. Running him down. Wonder so incredibly fast. So he's Vito just going to make it here, out. I think. Wall's coming in. VGO on the chase, Wonder waiting off, jumps up though, and gets knocked right back down. Clean pick for Misfits. What's the next response? Because Misfits have mid push there, bot push there, and objective bounty on that bot tier one. Humanoid might get this top tier two. Looks like Razork's trying to proxy or look for a waiver. I don't know, he's just running through the mid lane. <laughs> might be caught here though, Razor. he has no flash. Where is he, where is he going? He's going to fade away. He's fade rush, baby! Fade rush! He refuses to die. Humanoid winning over the wall. Who's getting baited? Neon has to be careful here. Just not getting by the target. Massive Humanoid. He's buying time. God, slowing man. it down. He's making son, fun of him. That's son, what he's doing. He son of Houdini. Razork. And uh, Misfits don't get that bot tier one. Vito's actually running away. The tower's extremely low. They don't get that objective bounty. Zanzara's trying to defend his Raptors. Crazy last few series of events. Question. Do you think Razork could give Hussein Bolt a run for his money? Mm, depends. Is he allowed to have phase rush in real life? <laughs> <laughs> and who does he hit in the context yeah. of an Olympic <laughs> marathon? <laughs> He's yet to die this game. <laughs> I mean, it's 1 0 4 in a 10 kill game. It doesn't look that impressive, but the amount of. Uh, He's been havoc. so obnoxious this yeah, game. Yeah, this is. <laughs> little Dennis the Menace over here, just in the jungle, just being obnoxious. Here he is again. Careful, Razzle. They're waiting for you. They're trying to trap him. They're trying to bait him. They're trying to let him continue with his slippery shenanigans. Have you ever and seen see the if film? Misfits can turn. Catch me if you can. Yes. There's a little Leonardo yeah, DiCaprio. Yeah. Yeah. Just running around, just committing fraud, <laughs> just taking things that don't belong to him. <laughs> That grump right there. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> He's going to pick that one up, and Misfits are going to push down middle the meanwhile. See if they can get this mid tier one. They're five man grouped up. Fnatic a little bit split with Wunder pushing out that top side. No top tier two to play for. Fnatic is going to chunk out Zanzara. Humanoid poking. The pillar is big, though. Humanoid forced to use the ultimate. Now, Poppy Alt coming out. Going to knock three back. Hey, but at least Misfits get the blue, nope. right? Be big. Human right now going for the re-engage. Lock up onto the ore, and the ore going to get taken out with the party. It starts. No, they cannot finish the job. Relevant getting tankier. Tankier level 15 now. Dragon in 40 seconds, Orn Flash is down. Zanzara, Razor, and Humanoid use their ults in that fight. Misfits need to reset, re-establish bot side vision and try to look to contest Fnatic on this Soul Point Dragon. Just notice Upset hit level 16, yep. 326 CS at 30 minutes. Uh, he's been a bit of a farming monster, highest level in the game as an AD carry. And uh, yeah, he's primed and ready to carry. Certainly is. See, no surprise, topping the XP chart. VTO a little bit behind him, but Upset oh, is going to take yeah. over. Razork, gonna get caught out there, knock back, maybe they can damage. finally kill the Poppy, the ulti beat's all coming out, can they finish the job, Razork knocked up, where's the follow up? Can't get it done, there's a big chunk onto the jungle, now important to remember, the previous fight, Fnatic got sloppy in how they picked it, they cannot afford to get sloppy again, front to back misses are still incredibly powerful, even at the deficit they've accrued. The Soraka is keeping the sustain up, still has ult, still has heal, the silences are incredibly strong, the first person that steps up from Fnatic is gonna receive that silence, Wunder not even close can't to Megadar, it's 
Fnatic just gonna give this one up. I think they are. Razorx basing. The call is to back. So Misfits now down 6k gold, but able to secure a dragon. We can see this comp slowly coming online. Yeah, we can see the scaling coming into fruition for Misfits. This is the point in the game that they were hoping to get to, and more and more damage items are coming through for Neon and Vito. You can see them. BF Sword and the Large Rod sitting in their inventories, soon waiting to be upgraded into even more damage. And this Orin being down 2.7k gold, yes, it looks great for the Naran side lane, but the Orin upgrades on Neon, on Vito, are slowly bringing that gold back and that deficit's becoming less and less significant. Yeah, when you take into account the stats that both mid and bot lane are getting, despite the fact that it looks like Humor and Nupset are actually in the lead in gold, in terms of effective stats, VTO and Neon are actually pretty far ahead from those Orn upgrades. Pretty significant difference, especially as we get later and later in the game where you're just always going to have that edge over the opposition. You can see Zanzara feeling a lot more confident. He knows his team is strong now. He knows they have the tools that they were waiting for, this 5v5 power. Misfits setting up control around the pit. Razork has to be careful now. If he gets caught out this late in the game, it'll be much faster to burn him down. Here's a sideline pressure from Fnatic, though. Look at Wunder on that bot tier, too. Yep. The Relevant has to group up to threaten Fnatic to force them back. Pull his ult at a click of a finger. Misfits need to make a decision soon. Base with Orn, lose this bot tier, too, or force a fight mid. But everyone has flash up, so who's your target? Vito finds Razork. There's Locked your target. Up. Knocked up. No. Goes Golden buys a brief moment, but now the entire He's team dead. turning. They're burning him down, finally! They find the pick. Upset standing on the front line, powered up by the bailout. Bell shield is flawless. Running through here, though, a relevant vision for the knockup, but he will not find it. It's a scrappy fight. Hostile takeover burned off to the side. Neon coming to this fight late could be a very lethal weapon. This Soraka is doing work. Upset dishing out all the damage, the heals, the redemption. Everything's coming out. Zanzara might be Zanzara, here. big knockback the in the heroes. wall, but again, Soraka! Oh, the ambulance here, clutch for the side of Misfits. They can force Nash here, 20 seconds on upset, ultimates all down for Fnatic. Wunder will have the Mega Knock. No, he won't, he'll actually have to take off Irrelevant here. Irrelevant has TP. Irrelevant has TP, Mercer still has ult. Mercer just needs to play safe. TPing in, the Use wall is ult. there. What's Use the, the wall, appear on? Secure the big question, gets out. 4K, getting lower and lower. Razork not up, there's no way that they can steal this one. Upset off to the side, getting chunked out. The, the heal now coming in. <laughs> Zandara is just back to full HP after being at Death's Door. Upset is doing what he Set. can. Good damage under Irrelevant. Trying to keep the fight going. BTO now flashing forward. Threaded volley. At least one of the shots is going to get blocked. Baron has already gone to Misfits, but Fnatic have found themselves in a position Upset. where they have to fight. Keep your eyes on Upset. Upset's big. Upset. Upset's massive. That's the bailout. That is the turn. Misfits may have gotten the bailout. Or may have gotten the Baron. The bailout is there for Upset. And he has managed to oh, find wonder. some blood. Wonder wants to keep this going, but fighting in the choke. Fighting in the choke is surely suicide up against this team, up against this line of BTO. Finding the damage, Humanoid caught out the bailout, will not come through, will not be enough. Wonder off to the side, Irrelevant goes down. In the meantime, another Baron off the board. Wow, upset comes up, clutch there for Fnatic. Given that Misfits were walking away with the Baron, and given that Soraka was just keeping the HP bars high, Misfits thought that they could go for the fight but they were overconfident, and it was upset that turns the play around. Good news Fnatic still walk away with the gold lead. Good news for Misfits, though, is they still have two Baron buffs, right? Zanzara and Vito get away with the buffs. Look at the healing from the Soraka. Then the Trundle passive brings him back to full HP when the Baron dies next to the Smite. It's Irrelevant who has a little bit of mispositions in these fights because he gets caught by Upset. If he stayed with the rest of Misfits, they could have just based together. Then they think they have a turn with the Soraka heal, and they flash onto Upset here. I think it's Zanzara with the pillar, but he stands strong. And look at this from Upset. Flashes in, gets the bounce off of the Soraka, then just bullies commits onto Neon, helping secure that kill alongside Hillisang. And then this is where Misfits is forced to disengage, of course. Uh, I think Fnatic at this point probably didn't need to overcommit. Misses the charm on the Zantara, the bonus move speed he got from his W, taking him to safety on the bailout. They weren't quite able to get that kill onto Irrelevant in time, thanks to a good knockback from DTO. But Misfits, they walk away with two Barons, but a lost team fight. Fnatic probably happy that they got rid of three of those buffs. It's very hard for Misfits to play on any lane other than mid right now. Mid tier one still up. Let's not forget Misfit still yet to take a tower this game. And they have two Baron buffs to do it. That tower is so low that it should fall with both of them on side lane here. That Ornal just to zone them, I think. they're gonna hit? Knockback comes in. No AD carry there now. Pushed the away. Look at, look at PTO, the wall. Upset has no flesh. Wall behind them. Can they keep this fight going? Because Wonder is also off to the side. Wonder gonna try to turn this one back. They've locked him out. It's actually Vito who's now been caught out here. Vito, the golden. Versa now moving in, can lay down the silence, trying to get the stun. They've still managed to lock him down. Vito refuses to drop. Vito trying to sidestep, but there it is. Now the hostile takeover coming out. The healing is, might just be enough. Misfits, that's just too damn much healing. They've got double healing reduction on the side of Fnatic, but it is not enough. Neon finding the double. Unbelievable. Mercer's just keeping his team alive right now. Playing combat medic in the middle of a war. And Misfits 
they walk away the victors of this team fight. Two members dead for Fnatic. The Dragon is up in 15 seconds, and Misfits will find themselves on Dragon Soul Point. They will indeed. Still two towers standing gold on both top and bottom tier ones that they can pick up. So this gold lead becoming less and less significant with Orn with the Soraka scaling. Bow down to the church of Soraka, just constantly keeping his teammates alive here, Mursa. We were kind of skeptical about the Soraka pick. What does it bring? Fnatic getting ahead early, but the scaling, scaling is what they're looking for. And Fnatic don't have that much healing production. I'll have to see it again. I thought this Ornal tier was to zone them away, and Vitio's wall could have been angled more towards the bottom side to cut off upset, but Vitio gets caught. But let's just look at how much healing Mercer does. I think that the play from Fnatic was good, but the rest of the team can't collapse quickly enough. Look at your minimap, and you can see the Humanoid nowhere near the fight. This is a 4v5. Razok stuns up Zantara, but that leaves him isolated against Neon, and Vitio just tanks everything thanks to Mercer's heals. The heal, the ult, the W, the redemption. All Fnatic have is a Future Fire and a Morello right now. Not too bad. A little bit of healing reduction on their side. Might need a bit more, but we'll see how the fights play out. Mercer has both his sums coming back up soon. And that Soraka is becoming the target for Fnatic, you have to feel. They need to get the Soraka down. Focusing people like Vitio and Neon when they have sums, when they have stopwatches and the Soraka healing, it's just too difficult. They need to find a flank onto Mercer. Absolutely do. Such a difficult situation, a difficult game to play out. And again, they've got a Kemp Cat Future Fire. They have a Morella and Amicon, but if they're not able to find uh, the buffs onto the targets at the right time and the damage onto the targets at the right time, it just will not matter. I mean, the other thing we haven't talked about is range. Misfits have a lot of it, especially with Talia this late into the game. Humanoid lands the charm, but they can't follow up. A really big. good pillar from Zanzara denies that opportunity. That's going to be the ult triggered from Humanoid, and not much is really going to be lost from the side of Misfits. Stare down for mid push. Misfits happy to give it up. Still one minute 30 on the Baron. And I'll say, I thought Zeri Yumi was about as bad as it got in terms of most hated bot lane. But we have a new contender, gentlemen. People forgot about the Wambulance, but there it is. And it's looking damn strong. <laughs> the Wambulance. <laughs> that was a good one, Misfits. Gonna get some mid push and we'll keep our eyes on that Wambulance because a charm connected in that last fight. That could have been huge if there was any form of follow up and that's right, a fall, it's over. We talk about the fact that Misfits just haven't gone to a side lane in the last like five minutes. <laughs> Look at Those, that top tower and that bot tower yeah. is not healthy and they've just said no, mid. <laughs> they've heard you now though because VTO is pushing out top that tower, a couple auto attacks from falling, has the ult to go mid. That means Misfits need to give up this mid push. Nope, they're gonna back away. Maybe the creeps can get it. Neon has to be careful here. Extra boom speed now coming out to push for a pick. He's really trying to get something, but he doesn't really have access to a priority target. Neon off to the side, now alting. Wall coming in from Vitio, but it's pushed Neon out of the fight. It's a little bit awkward. Hostile takeover. He might just take down Zanzar. No, Zanzar strong enough. But Wonder off to the side. Solo killing to Soraka. Soraka just trying to survive. Wonder will not have it. This is a man out for revenge, and he will find it here. This Misfits comp is a death ball. They need to stay together. They got way too split up, and Fnatic were quick to punish. Mursa solo killed by Wonder, but Wonder might be the one in trouble now. Upset incredibly low. Clean combo comes in for Vito to find the damage. Wonder now taken out. Misfits low. Blinking health bars, but no objective on the map quite yet. 10 seconds to pair, and Fnatic, are they confident enough to just force it? But they don't have a jungler. That is 60 seconds on Wonder's death time. A humanoid needs to go back to base, and this is a very big window with which Misfits can force that objective. Mercer should be coming back up alive soon, but we can see exactly why Misfits was hesitant to separate. The window, that small one, where they saw Vito in the top lane, Fnatic tried to force it and they were able to find a successful fight initially, but it ended up turning into disaster. Now Misfits find themselves with the Baron in their eyes and an objective and an opportunity to get a win in this game. TB coming in. Misfits now backing off, just hoping to find that pick off to Humanoid. Look at Mursa though, he's so split, he needs to join the rest of his team. Misfits are waiting for that Soraka, they push Humanoid out, he has no ult now. Do they go back to the Baron is the question. Wonder will have TP as well. Their Dragon Soul is up in 1 minute 30. They need to be careful not to overcommit too hard to this top side. Even faking and baiting Nash, yes it could work, but it could stop your Dragon Soul in the long run. So much pressure on both sides now, Zanzara and Neon, more than enough healing to stay healthy while they attempt to take down this objective. Wonder is here, but he doesn't have any rage stacked up. It's gonna take him some time. Fnatic can't just immediately pull the trigger. Wall now coming down. That's the signal to burn it all away. But Razor waiting, standing over the wall. The the hero. Alti coming in, oh. knocking the jungler out of the pit. Razor gonna the midst of everything. They flash in. They're gonna go for it. There's no way they can lose with the jungler out of the pit. He manages to take it. Razor, an MVP performance last week, finding purchases again here in game two. A double kill for Misfits. Maybe they can wipe the fight to follow. They lost Neon. the Baron, Neon. but Neon popping up. Triple kill. Wonder off to the Side. There's just too much healing. The G8 out coming out as well. Misfits.
pushing for more. They need to get more here. They've already given up the bear and upset falling away. Wonder now caught out. Mercer gonna come in with a little bit of a slow. No more follow-up to push in. What Death. else can Misfits get off this? Death timers are everything. 30 seconds on that Infernal Soul. Zanzara will not be up for it. But Razork will. The question is, how long can Misfits hold this bot side jungle for? How long can they buy time for their jungler and stop Fnatic? And how quickly can Fnatic get out of base? Oh my word. Humanoid being dead for 30 seconds is going to be a big problem. Upset. No Upset. Caught out. They managed to burn the G. The spell shield, he can't get anything else. GA now proc wonder trying to save his AD He's carry. Gonna die. on the way in. The knockback, the timing isn't no. quite right, but he doesn't need it. It's a shutdown. Still, he makes it a one for one somehow. That's the power of the boomerang. Wonder now walking away. The Meganar so slow. He's just trying to run for his life. He has an extra movement speed coming in. Curse you, the Wonder. <laughs> Absolutely outplayed. What are they feeding? Fnatic. The jukes left and right. Now getting the wall up in the meantime. Knock you back to the wall. Leaping out to save. Can he do it? No! Burn down, BTO on a rampage. Dragon is alive, Zanzara has just respawned. 60 seconds on Wonder, 40 seconds on Upset. Fnatic are gonna have to hold a three versus four. The AD carry of Misfits is down. Fnatic likewise, it's on Humanoid, Razork and Hilly to save this game. It's a battle of mid laners right now and VTO is looking to come out on top. He has a level advantage, he has the item advantage. And right now, Misfits have the positional advantage, Razork. Can he be slippery once more? Can he make the play? His ultimate is up and primed and ready to go. VTO is marking the choke though. He doesn't want to let him through. Irrelevant's going to do the same thing on the other side. He's going to look for the ultimate. Can he hit Irrelevant? The W can it cancel it. The pillar Ooh, does pillar instead. Does. 6k, getting lower and lower. Fnatic, they, they want to commit for anything in. else. Nope. Getting a bit of damage onto Irrelevant. He's going to die. getting picked off in the meantime. The bailout is not going to do anything. Misfits finding Infernal Soul. You saw Upset on the camera just before he died. He was shaking his head as he fell. Bit of frustration on the Fnatic camp. They knew that they had this game in the bag. They had a six, seven thousand gold lead when they were pushing through the top side jungle. So much mid push and side lane push, but it's Misfits' comp, this death ball that's running around, picking them off, forcing fights, and it's Mercer on the Soraka who's keeping them alive. It absolutely is. The game, the golden touching distance, the infernal soul in favor of Misfits for now. Baron three minutes away, Elder five and a half. Things that we have to keep track of. If you are at home right now, get on Discord. It's time to vote who will win this game. It has been back and forth. It has been Misfits finding fights, but Fnatic are not going quietly. Discord.lec.gg. Let us know who you believe in. Fnatic Faithful we probably needs you here because right now Misfits looking like the favorite team. They are indeed, and their one job is to group up. The only slip up they had when they split up was when VTO was pushing out top, and that's happening again. The good news for Misfits now, though, is they have three Infernal Dragons, a Soul. Baron's up in three minutes. They're going to control this top side of the map. They're making sure that VTO can't get picked off here. Irrelevant. He's a beefy Orn. He's just marking topside, making sure VTO's safe, checking every bush so it's easy for him to move to mid after he's pushed out that wave with the pink wards. And now they need to start sieging down these towers, pushing Fnatic back. Fnatic have a lot of wave clear with the Sivir, but Misfits have a lot of vision to work with. Big damage coming in. We are late game on the Talia now, Ooh. just shredding through Razor's health bar. But this comes back to the range that we were talking about earlier. Misfits have so much of it, and it's very difficult for Fnatic All to close that gap. Out. Upset now, gonna spell shoot this one correctly. That's a lot Walk of damage away. onto VTO though. Out just by Sivir ricochet damage, really. This is a six item Zeri. Oh. With an Infernal Soul. The poke is incredible. And what they can do, I think I saw it in the LPL, you can use the Orn Q on the ground, and the Zeri can use the W through it to extend it to try and poke them away, despite not having walls in mid. This is some kind of the tech that Misfits can start to use. Elder Dragon in four minutes, Baron in two. And you can see fans rallying in favor of Misfits. They've seen the healing. It's just so difficult for Fnatic to play against this composition the later and later we go, despite massive, seemingly insurmountable gold leads in the early game. Misfits have weathered the storm, and we're finally seeing the things that we knew that they were capable of. This front-to-back team fighting, these late-game fights, the strength that Misfits has had throughout the entire season, looking to leverage it now here against Fnatic. In game one, we saw a convincing early game from Fnatic where they made a slight blunder. And Misfits, you know, they realized, hey, with our comp, maybe we can't actually outscale this team, especially with the deficit that we find ourselves in. This time around, though, Fnatic, with a very convincing early game once again, they made that one blunder, but this time, Misfits had the composition that actually allowed the back into the game. The Orn, the Soraka, alongside the damage dealers of Talia and Zeri. And you can see how difficult this actually is for Fnatic to play. They aren't leveraging their strong side laners to try and split apart this Misfits squad. They keep fighting them. They keep creating these 5v5 situations which Misfits continue to come out on top of. Yeah, the problem they have is, yes, you can push the side lane, but then they can just pull the trigger mid and Hillisang yeah. has to flash or Humanoid has to use his ult and then you're in a 4v5 situation, down a summoner spell or ult and then they can start hitting your tower as well, right? So it's very difficult for Fnatics to juggle this game, to juggle sides, but for now they have vision topside. Misfits are going to group up and brute force their way down here. Fnatic don't have much to respond with, but Wunder's close to that Meganar. Rogue's getting poked at. There's the ulti. 
sign for a fight. No one gonna get hit there. Razork, not gonna commit the ultimate channel there. It's gonna be a pretty quick cooldown, but the rest of the team now backing away. This is a struggle. Wonders 4k up individually in his matchup, but it might just not matter. Five Orn items on the opposite side of the table. Irrelevance all something that's giving Fnatic nightmares, something that they have to back away from every single time is used. Such a difficult game now for Fnatic to play out. But they split here. Fnatic can find a pick. Certainly Fnatic have a chance, but have to be careful. Santara flashing out to safety. Good flash. Would have got hit by the charm. Maybe the hostile takeover as well. We've been changed CC. He might have fallen. He has Mercer behind him, but they do have a little bit of healing reduction and a lot of burst as well on things like Yari. Baron still up. Fnatic in the vicinity. Maybe they're looking for a pick again here. Hillsang, big chunk there. Luckily, he's got a big few more tanky stats. He can survive that. So, ult is down for upset, ult is down for Humanoid. Misfit, recognize this, they're gonna start this one up. It is very fast with Talia and Terry. Need to mark Razor, need to keep their eye on that Poppy ultimate. Cannot let another one get away from the Humanoid playing off to the side. It's not the ultimate quite yet, seven seconds. It's just debating where they want to go. Maybe hoping they can find a single member, maybe hoping they can find a pick before the fight kicks out. Mercer half health. Mercer taking a lot of damage just from healing up his allies. Brads are gonna knock two out of the fight, that's big! Wonder on the backside immediately, they're kicking things off. VTO should just get burned down in an instant, but he flashes out to safety. Upset flashing to finish the job, Humanoid's still standing. It's a perfect start oh, yeah. to the fight, but Neon is so damn strong. They have the lockup, but I don't think they have the damage. Upset's still standing, and it's Upset and Neon versus the world. Upset stepping forward, bailout Ooh, damage upset. is big! The oh, bones. he brings it back! He brings it back to the Soraka! Disastrous play! Zans are now running. Fnatic, they should have control of the area. It's an absolute bloodbath, but Fnatic win the fight. Can they win the game is the question. TP bots from Wonder, they're gonna chase down Zanzara. He will fall, it's on Neon to defend Misfits' hopes in this game too. He needs to fight Wonder, slow the game down, stop them from getting this bot in him. 30 seconds on VTO, I think it might just be over. Upset has just come up so big in this game for Fnatic. When the chips were down, when he needed to flash forward, he did just that. He carries the team fight, and now only Neon stands in Fnatic's way. Got back, Neon locked up, and the rest of the team is here to respond. He doesn't get any time, he gets cut down. Does manage to kill Razor, but right as he comes up, they're gonna try to land all of their CC perfectly, and they do it! Flawless coordination to make sure that there is no sliver of hope. Fnatic, they've made Worlds nine times. They're looking to make it a tenth across every iteration imaginable. They will move on to match point. Incredible team fight from Fnatic. Incredible team fight from Upset. Up against an Infernal Soul. Mercer got split off. Humanoid Tinks targeted him out. Got him so low HP that the Soraka wasn't really a part of the fight. And then it's the Boomerang that bounces off Neon to kill Mercer. And that's when Fnatic are confident enough to step forward. Huge shout out to the Observers for spawning that one in the middle of what was a chaotic fight. But it really was the deciding factor. Misfits showcasing that they've definitely got a lot more bite than compared to game one. But they're going to feel frustrated off the back of that. That game felt like it was theirs, but this Baron continued to elude them. It got stolen away the first time. They tried to turn on the second one, and then Fnatic came out on top. But now everything is on the line. They've only got one opportunity left as Fnatic find themselves one game away from the last spot at Worlds. Seemingly both of these teams defined by their tenacity. Fnatic coming back after giving up a lot in that game. In game one, as Misfits trying to hold on, we're gonna have to see who comes out in game top. Misfits, they've been one game away from Worlds so many times. Now they're three games. Now they're gonna need to win three back-to-back -back if they want their spot. They lose, they are out. They finish fifth in the season. Fnatic win, they are in, they have made it to Worlds. They will go up against MAD on Sunday. We'll have to see who comes out on top for now. Let's send it over to the desk with Shox, Nemera, and Treats. We joke about the plot armor, but uh, dude, like you cannot convince me of anything else at, at this point in time. And, and the way Fnatic bring back this game that Nymeera on all accounts, they should have lost. It was absolutely insane because the way I think about this, if Fnatic have the early game lead, it should be a shutout. Then Misfits, when they get those fights, they tend to keep going well for them. When they start winning fights, pretty much it ends the game. Yeah. But we saw Fnatic stop that momentum somehow, some way. Yeah, it was really, really a close game, and it was back and forth all the time. It was like uh, the soul. They had Soraka healing for 50k every fight. It, it was wild. A lot of small things, I think, that came uh, into the play, especially in those team fights. Uh, Razork, he's up for this old organization, of course. That's how he started off the day. Um, and even though the scoreline may not suggest the traits, he was so annoying in this game. Yeah, he was. It's just Poppy's just a slippery champion. Yeah. Man. Like he's just so fast everywhere. Face rush, like with his normal flash, with Nimbus cloak, he's just so hard to lock down, and it was it was unfortunate for Misfits that they couldn't really punish him. I think they caught him a few places, but he was just he was just too fast, man. And I think it goes to show that Fnatic, that you know, they're not just a Callista game one early game team. This is how they play early game as well. They have multiple options in the early game. 
and Razork has been such a big difference maker for this org, especially in that area of the game, which is so important versus Misfits, locking them out of the game so they can't get into those big team fights. This is what we want to see more of. He also took that bear, and of course, I wouldn't say stole because I feel like it was more a team call to uh, go into the pit, and then he did secure it, obviously. Uh, but, you know, you do have to have the target selection. Who are you going to knock out of the fights? One, two, hopefully more people, etc. And I just think when I'm looking at the way he's playing, um, it looks like he really turned the page, you know? You've said it already. Throughout the st uh, throughout the summer, rather, has Fnatic really found the way they want to play with him? Have they given a f enough faith? I want to say, but after he outplayed so much last week, it looks like a different guy. Um, but that wasn't it, though. It's not where the game ended, Nightmare. In fact. Misfits came back, and how? Yeah, well, this is the thing. My <laughs> prediction may be bust at this point. I thought it'd be 3-1 to yeah. them. But we did see some signs of life from Misfits. So as much as we broke down one of those Fnatic fights uh, in the pre-show, love to break one down where Misfits actually showed some own skill sets that they have on show in these big team fights. This one comes around about 26 minutes when we're coming around to one of these big dragon fights. So before we start playing this fight, really wanted you to notice a couple of things. Obviously, positioning of Neon going to be very, very important in this. Also want you to watch what's happening with the relevant and Mercer, because these are the three really key people to watch from what's happening with Misfits. So let's start playing this clip right now and see what happens when Fnatic's start um, kind of walking forward up into this choke point and seeing what happens after this point. So Fnatic, they see that Misfits around the Dragon. They have themselves the gold lead and they think, okay, we have the rest of the Ariel ticking. Let's see what happens. So important thing to note here. Razork is looking to charge forward somewhere down here, but you don't have vision in this brush. You can't actually target Neon. So when Razork goes in after this point, has to go on towards Zanzara. The charm lands, but it's not enough. You don't get both targets down there. Then after this point, a couple of things happen. You already have, on the other side of the fight, Irrelevant doing his job, holding the door closed. If that wasn't bad enough, Razlog's now in a very difficult position. He is not in front of his carries. You suddenly have frontline advantage for Zanzara and Irrelevant. Wonder doesn't really get to do the same thing with a big Meganar on the back side of this, and it does feel like Fnatic, they ended up getting split, and that allowed the carries of Misfits to punch above their weight, and we praise Fnatic for doing exactly this to excel in their game five. Because the fight gets split, Misfits get to reset, do a lot of relevant damage, and Fnatic Though they do have a lot of gold to bring to bear, and they have themselves a lot of damage, it doesn't make up for their lack of positioning and Misfit's superior play around their front line after that point. So that obviously gave Fnatic a lot of issues to worry with. Now, it didn't end up giving them the game. Yeah, it It's a sign of life. <laughs> And it just goes to show that Fnatic cannot afford to give Misfits these team fights which they excel in. Yeah, I think you started with some of the signs of life we've seen. I think we saw a stellar Misfits in a lot of those late game team fights, mid game team fights. Um, it wasn't enough though, but you also wanted to say something about specifically that fight and Fnatic's positioning. Yeah, I think it was like, it had a 9k goal lead Fnatic. Yeah. And I think when you have a 9k goal lead, you just kind of breathe a bit, chill a bit. And like, how do we approach this team fight, guys? The only way we lose is if we split up like this and then Zeri can just free hit, right? So I think they just made a crucial mistake of splitting this fight. Upset was just in Narnia. He was on the complete <laughs> other side of the fight. Rostrak was in the pit and they were just kind of everywhere, right? So I think that Fnatic just, they were a bit too eager to win this game from the state that they're in, where they could have just taken a chill pill and just relaxed a bit and played out normally. But I think that Misfits on the other hand as well, they really punished it well and, and they when they got this opportunity, they they struck really fast. Yeah, um, <laughs> but they're just breaking the broadcast, Fnatic, by uh, that <laughs> ending of the game. Let's take a look at the final fight as well, because for as much as you can say, Fnatic should have not been so oversell, it's true. But then on Misfit's side, Namira, I also think you should have locked this up. Yeah, because now actually you look at this fight where Fnatic do find the right angle. Suddenly Mercer, who in that last fight was doing, keeping the front line in the game with much more HP and such a powerful force, is suddenly very low HP. The front line from Fnatic get to actually lock down the carries. You see that Neon is CC'd at this point. It's actually upset. That does get to have someone stood in front of him. Yeah, and I think in general, when Misfits lost fights, it was because their backline was exposed. And I think that they didn't really realize this on the Sparrow setup. They let uh, Humanoid come from the top side and Wunder from the bot side, and they do just got pincer from two angles. So I think that Fnatic in general, they they saw some good angles into this game, even though they had the, they were up against a, a pretty fed uh, Zeri in this They're one. like, Zeri late game monster upset that uh, 1,708 damage per minute that game, which Oof. is nearly breaking his own record versus Vitality of 1,804 damage Those per minute. Those are numbers you get on ARAMs, folks. Like, yeah. Like, that is ridiculous. <laughs> That's nuts. Um, but hey, ADCs, man. 
It's crazy. They're in a good spot right now. They do a lot of don't, don't let the ADC players know that, though. No, let them know that, <laughs> indeed. But, oh, I feel a little bit heartbroken for Misfits because now is this the difference between even Keel going into game three and having to pull off the reverse sweep in order to still make it to Worlds? We have the draft here behind us, Nymira. Um, a very different look, obviously, because of the bands that came out in terms of the Callista. You guys were a fan of the Trundle, I believe, that it came out, but not yeah, enough. Yeah, because it gives you that winning jungle matchup and it also allows you to, on the bot side of the map, influence that too. And we saw that, of course, Zanzara managed to get towards bot lane. Level one, right from the start, red buff into bot lane. It gave them the agency to at least stabilize and get their carries into the game. That's a good start. Yeah. I actually think this draft was a good adaptation, but of course, it wasn't enough to finish it off. Yeah, I also like the draft from Misfits. I think that it kind of, they did everything we wanted them to, right? They had the better jungle matchup, they influenced bot, they had scaling on bot, match scaling, and there was no like big hole for them to cover. So I think that it was a pretty good draft and they did come pretty close to win this game. So if I'm Misfits, I'm like, ah, this one was just, it was choked a bit in the end, right? Yeah, but now treats, you know, it's the position that they're in. Owen 2 up against the Fnatic, yeah. uh, where, as you say, things went right. They got the draft adaptations that they wanted, the early game stabilization that they wanted. In fact, they even pulled off almost a vintage Misfits comeback and they were in a winning position in the team fight. Yeah, I mean, uh, they did kind of check all the boxes and they still didn't make it, so that must feel really bad for them. But yeah. I think that at least they came up with a much bigger fight than in the first game. So I think if they add a slight extra layer to the next game, then I think they can grab a win. Since you lost your prediction, do you want to change it? You want to have like 3-2 win for Misfits? No? I'd quite like to go 3-0 Fnatic. Okay. But I don't <laughs> <laughs> You're allowed to. Um, so um, Fnatic will... I have to read this from this camera just so you guys know because there's a lot of important info about the World Championship and qualifying for the World Championship, but more importantly, the fact that you can get your hands on Worlds tickets. If you want to watch your favorite team live at Worlds, registration for pre-sale tickets is now open. Now, tickets for most stages are available starting September 6th for MasterCard holders, September 7th for verified fans, and September 8th for the general public. Check out lolesports.com for more details on uh, how to register for verified fan status. And we'll be back with picks and bands here at the Analyst Desk after the break. Stay tuned. Yes, the king of the jungle. Time for a quick Red Bull. Red Bull? But you still won't be quicker than the lion. I don't have to be quicker than the lion. Just quicker than you. Red Bull gives you wings. Over again, winning his matchup, taking control of this lane. Incredibly impressive stuff. Really inspirational. And here we go, he's looking for something. What a move, this man is on fire! That's the kind of play which makes me want to be on stage. Hold on. Thank you so much for joining me. Tell me, how do you feel after making that play? 